Hey, welcome to the Knitting Samurai Plus One video podcast. This is episode 67, and I am your host, Steph, also known as the Knitting Samurai. Hey! So it is Wednesday night, September 18th. Yep, I'm making it the 18th. <laughs> and yeah, so I have lots of things to show you. Steve and Ron are doing bedtime right now. I can hear laughter and tired crying all mixed together, so you might hear some of that. If you do, it shouldn't be for more than the next five minutes, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but I was just in such a hurry to sit down and chat with you guys and just share everything that's going on. So, 100 episode celebration, woo! <laughs> and with that, I'm looking for my project bag. So we have the Knitting Samurai colorway custom colorway knit along going on. A bunch of people cast on on the 15th. I was among them. <laughs> the knit along, if you would like to knit along, is running until um, Halloween, October 31st. And there's some prizes and there's a pretty active thread going on. Lots of different projects out there. And it's just super exciting to see what everybody is up to. So. Thank you so much, Laura from Inspiration Dye Works and all of you for participating. You're just making this to something. He just yelled to something. <laughs> I know, I'm very distracted by Shiny. You've, you've all made this a very um, happy event for me and it does feel like a celebration. It's not just, oh yeah, 100 episodes passed. No, that's an achievement for me. I'm, I'm a full-time working mom. This is, yeah. So I'm glad, I'm really happy. So thank you so much. So I am just finishing off the line is fell. He knocked the table. Yeah. Okay, but we're all right, right? Yeah. So I'm finishing off the row I'm working on. This is the uh, Byzantine, Byzan, Byzantine, Byzantine, I don't know, uh, mitts by <coughs> La Maison Really Lee. I had shown this image before. So there's the fingerless mitt. They're rather large. And then the Vanilla Bean Socks by Emily Locke. I'm using the, her slip stitch design on these mitts. And it's coming out pretty snazzy. So here's my progress so far. They're really addictive because I just want to get to the next aqua section because I'm really enjoying that. Uh, there's a Linus. <laughs> The passing Linus. Um, so yeah, they're going to be pretty long because I want to use as much as I can on these for me and then whatever's left over I'll do baby leg warmers. So here's where I'm at so far. I am knitting the size large on US two and a halfs. I don't know what the conversion is. And these needles don't say. So um, the larger size twos. <coughs> <laughs> the, okay, wait, where was I? So I'm knitting the, I'm trying to hold my arms so you can see, and that's just not working. So they're um, a little loose on me, and I am a big gal, so um, I don't know if my gauge is off. I didn't measure that, and really fingerless mitts gauge doesn't really ma matter so much. So I'm going to, I've snuck in a couple decreases in the purple section. I'm going to sn sneak in a few more later on in the pattern. Uh, probably like eight or ten rows down just to make it taper a little bit because the wrist does go in and I, I don't know if the pattern calls for that or not I basically looked at it said what's the cast on okay I'll do the the one by one rib and then just go from there with my own stitch pattern because um, there's a really cool detail about that pattern but it involves having contrasting yarn colors that you're switching manually to make the stripes and since this is dyed custom dyed um, I, I can't line it up and make that happen. So I added in the other one. So I think these are going to be awesome. I can't wait. I'm not doing a Rhinebeck sweater per se. Um, just because the last couple of years I've gone, it's been really warm. But I am going to do Rhinebeck fingerless mitts. <laughs> so there's always a time and a place for gorgeously bright fingerless mitts. And the fall's my favorite season. It's everybody's favorite season. Um, well, maybe not. But <laughs> It's a lot of people's favorite seasons with all the fairs and the outdoor, you know, the Apple Festival, the um, Rhinebeck, the going to the farms, all that stuff, apple picking and harvest and just all of that. So there's plenty of opportunities to wear fingerless mitts that scream, I'm loud. <laughs> what, you can't imagine me being loud? I know. 
So that's one new thing on the needles. Also on the needles, was there anything else to tell you about that? I don't think so. Okay, also on the needles, I um, it's time to wear your tall boots. FYI, ladies. If you have knee-high boots, it's time to start wearing them. Yes, we pretty much all took the plunge at work and have pulled out our boots. I'm not wearing them every day, but it's cold enough that I'm wearing them now. So um, I looked around on Rav for a nice pattern for knitting a boot cuff, which is basically some um, a pretty cuff to go at the top of your boot, in between your knee and where your boot ends. And it's sort of decorative, and that way you don't have to wear knee-high socks. You could just wear this little cuff and wear your regular dress socks that you would wear normally. So I looked around, didn't see any, and said, okay, fine, I'll make my own. <laughs> so I cast on 112 stitches. Oh, I was going to look this up. I'm thinking these are also U.S. size 2s. I'm going to go with that, the larger size 2s. I didn't, um, there, remind me. Uh, it'll be in the show notes um, because in case you want to knock this up, I don't know whatever so larger size twos and the yarn is cakewalk yarn gorgeous yarn it is her mcn base which is stash this is the, the name of her mcn base um a this colorway in all of its gorgeousness is rhinebeck and i bought it because it's called rhinebeck i think i ordered it um from a shop update i don't think i actually saw her anywhere that i can recall uh but yeah, so I probably, well, I might wear tall boots around my back. I don't know. Every season, my, um, you kind of got to work yourself back into wearing the tall boots. And yeah, my calves are rather large. So I did a um, two by two rib for about two inches. And then I decreased down 10% of the stitches just to keep it that same size diameter. It's still kind of big, bigger than I would like. It will definitely go over my knee, but it's a work in progress. I'm going to figure it out. I have about a half an inch past where the ribbing ended and you can see how beautiful it is knit up. That speckled pattern there, whatever that dyeing technique is that, you know, you can see the specks of the greens in there. It's just so lovely. So much fun to knit with. Feels like butter in my hands. I absolutely love it. And I started knitting with it and then immediately balled up. I think I have two more skeins of the stash yarn by Cakewalk Yarns. I balled them up immediately and was like, what else can I knit? And I have the purple, her purple colorway that's called Portland. And that would look gorgeous. Oh, with black boots. But this colorway, pull it out again. This colorway I'm thinking goes really good with my chocolate brown boots. I also have a pair of boots that are um, wheat colored. Wheat nubuck is what we call it. But it's basically a, um, a, a yellow gold color leather. So I, I don't really think this goes with that, but I think it'll go great with my chocolate brown. So there you go. Tall boots, they are not going away. Not going away anytime soon. So that's cool and new. And <laughs> my neural handshake socks are officially over. I was sort of putting myself on, I was holding off casting on for the new for the knit along until I had gotten, gotten, until I got a few projects off the needles. And this was one of them. So I have not woven in my hands yet, but you can see these are, um, hi. <laughs> this is Inspiration Dye Works in her fluffy plus base. This is a custom colorway for me. And they are black, dark, deep, deep plum colored and neon green. Uh, stripes and it was funny this evening Roland was uh, sitting in the living room playing while I was setting up the table for recording and he I he looks up at me and he said Pobosa and I was like what and he said it a few more times Pobosa Pobosa and I said I looked at what I had just set on the table and it was my socks and I said purple socks and he said yeah and I said what other color and I couldn't get him to say green but he was definitely saying purple socks so these are done and off my needles. And I feel like, oh, I forgot to look. I feel like it's time for a uh, 2013 update. It's been a while. I don't really like to give you an update if I don't have anything to say that's new and exciting. Oh, I should be doing a baby blanket drawing this week. Okay, we'll find the iPad and we'll do that. But anyways, um, to the purple socks anyways. These are done off my needles and I think this is it's September these are my ninth pair 
I want to say. I was on track to finish them in August and have nine so far, but then I kind of fell off the boat with the baby blanket. So these are done. Checking my time. Okay. Okay. So next up, let's do the baby blanket knit along prize drawing. So this is the final month of the baby blanket knit along. I believe if I am reading my forms correctly, we had 53 gorgeous baby blankets finished and it looks like RS instructor, you just got in there. <laughs> so I will be locking the thread today. It's been a great knit along. Continue to talk about baby blankets in the chat thread if you want. I'll leave that open. But the actual prize drawing FO thread I'm going to close. So if I go to random number generator and do 2 through 53 and say generate, number 10 comes up. If we hop back over to the RAV group, it's on the first page. Hopefully it's not me. I'm not eligible to win. <laughs> well, she did several, so she deserves it, but it's not the same post. Okay, so Avocado Sheep won previously, and I'm happy to say she has won again. This time it is for her Lavender and Lace baby blanket. Let's see if I can bring it up so you guys can all see. I love to see what people are are winning for on podcasts. So I show them. So there's in progress picture. That is just a gorgeous blanket. I wonder if it came out of the Cascade 60 baby blankets books. So what did you win? You may ask yourselves. Okay, I'm done. I won't touch it anymore. Yes, it did. It came out of the six quick baby knits. So that's great. Yay, congratulations, avocado sheep. Um, what I have for you is a skein of Fiber Charmer. This is from the Tri-Dye um, Club. It is called Go Ahead, Make Me Sing. And it's an 80% super wash, 20% rayon of bamboo. Rayon and bamboo are the same thing. So there you go. There you go. So, Lainey, drop me an email and I'll get this in the mail to you. I am heading to the post office tomorrow. I've been a little lax in going. So, there, the packages, prizes are sitting waiting. So, Lainey, if you're quick on the draw, you can get it. <laughs> Otherwise, it may take a little bit longer. So, that is that. Yay! All 53 baby blankets. I'm so pleased with that number. And I have to tell you that I am feeling at a loss right now. So that baby blanket came off my needles last week. I finished the knitting on the sweater I was working on and I'm just like, okay, what do I have for a big project? I have all these little accessories floating around. I need to have a big knit. And I was feeling really motivated the other day. Do you, do you remember um, Hand Knit in the UK? That pat, that, uh, this is supposed to be at the end, but I'm sorry, I'm, I'm it's, it's flowing. I'm just gonna go there. It would flow a little better if I hadn't gotten in the way, but it's okay. Um, hand Knit in the UK, she had, they had, those ladies, Tin Can Knits, um, have a baby blanket. There you go. That's part of that. It's gorgeous. I believe it's called Vivid. Everybody's knit it. Knit some part of it anyways. Yes. Whoa! Don't throw around the iPad. Generally not a great thing to do. How is it telling me? Okay, there we go. So it is a gorgeous pattern and she gives lots of, why am I showing you the instructions? I don't know, I'm sorry. Okay, there you go. She gives lots of instructions about um, color layout, lots of suggestions, which I could really use help with. So I was placing an order with pattern works and I needed a little bit more to get free shipping. And so I like Baroque Vintage. I think it's a great yarn. Um, I think it'll make a great winter baby blanket. So you remember my Jackaroo was that bright red? So add these guys. Add it, picture the bright red with these. I think it's gonna be lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely for a baby blanket. So I'm just gonna start working on these squares. I know it's not really technically a big project because it won't be like the weight of that on the needles, but you know what I'm saying. It'll be more of a long-term investment and I can show you the squares as I go through it. And honestly, watching Amy Batha, the Fat Squirrel Speaks, show hers every week, I've spent several weeks going, why aren't I doing that? So time to jump in and do that. So there you go. That's what's new and noteworthy. How about that? 
um, October, September, one of those months soon is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And just so I showed you this bag, so I wanted to knit a pair of socks that would sort of keep with this theme. When the um, when I finished my last pair of stripy socks, I gotta start another pair. If I'm gonna get 13 done in a year, I gotta start another pair. So I did. We went to visit my um, in-laws over the weekend. And I cast on, it's basically all I worked on all day, um, these. So again, more inspiration dye works. I swear, I, I do own other yarn and I do know how to knit with other yarn. But, um, so this is her basic sock base in her punk stripe colorway. And you can see I am using US Zeros, 2.0 millimeter needles and with the thinness of this yarn, I would really be better served if I went to the double zero needles, down to the double zero needles. My gauge, my, not my gauge, but the density of the fabric is just, it's not super dense. So I'm not a real big fan of this. And also in my head, I can't seem to get it around knitting on double zeros. Like, oh my God, that just seems like a huge amount of time. Okay. They're now going from the reading chair into the crib. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so these are going. What else do I have to tell you? I told you the color, I told you the needle size. Yeah, and I actually, did I write in my notes? No, I wrote basic sock. Yeah, so there you go. I'm, I'm pleased with this progress. Tomorrow I'm uh, gonna have some car riding time with work, and so while I'm in the car, I will be doing more knitting. So these guys are they're headed into my purse. They are going with me. And I'm calling these my uh, breast cancer awareness talks. I'm just kind of keeping that front of mind for the month and sending positive thoughts where I can. So, next. Okay. I did allude to having finished knitting all the pieces of my Asilomar. And I then spent no less than, I do not, I no joke, three hours seaming this thing up. Am I just a not proficient seamer? Seamstress? I don't know. So this is, oh and it's kind of interesting on the green. This is the Asilomar by Amy Hertzog. I knit it on US size 7 with Cascade 220 Heathers. Not a super wash yarn. And the mods I made to this were, I shortened the sleeves. I had this much of a skein left so I, I was pretty good yardage wise. Um, I added waist shaping to the front panel. I don't think you can see very much of this, but there you go. If I show you the bottom edge. Oh, did you just see my pajama bottoms? <laughs> I try so hard and if I know you're going to see, I always wear pants. <sighs> oh, well, chalk it up to 100. <laughs> Anyway, so here's the Asilomar. It's um, very well written, super fun to knit. And before spending three hours sewing it up, I was sitting there thinking, okay, mom, um, L dubs, like who else can I knit one of these for? I have never knit a sweater for anyone except Roland and I. That's a true statement, yes. Well, and, and baby sweaters to give to other kids, right? Like newborn size, not big sweaters. So. For me to be sitting there after having finished knitting it and saying, I like this so much, I want to knit it for other people is unheard of. Unheard of. But then the amount of time it took to see me, I was just like, mm, not so in love with the idea of it. But um, really fun knit. I like using the Cascade Heathers. I like that in some lights this looks purple like a dusty lavender. And in other lights it looks like a very dark gray. So I think it will go great with a lot of the clothes in my wardrobe. I wear a lot of fuchsia. I think it'll go really nice with that. Um, no buttons. So you saw that. That's part of the pattern design. No buttons. It hits perfect length. Um, I, you can see me. I want to tug it shut. So this is my second attempt at the fit to flatter. And while I don't feel like a sausage in this one like I do in the jacker, 
I do feel like it's a more fitted look that I'm used to wearing. So it's gonna take a little bit for me to get used to wearing it, but I think I just need to wear it, you know? It's meant to hang open. Um, I am a little more busty than the girl in the pattern, the model, but that's how it is. So if I could just get it to sit like this and be happy, maybe I need one of those twink tinks trinkets or whatever they're called Katie from Jet Girl <laughs> you know what I mean it, the the thing that connects right there or maybe I need the clasp I don't know maybe I'll wear it in and go visit Margot I did buy it at buy the yarn at my LYS and so I know she likes to see finished projects and this was just such a great quick knit I took two weeks off from it and I want to say it, it took me just over a month does that make sense huh. yeah if I hadn't taken two weeks off, it would have taken a month and a week. So really, I love it. I highly recommend it. I know it's a, um, for pay for a pattern, I believe it's out of wool people. And I think I spent $7 for it, but it's well worth it to have the, just the, she's a great designer. I really like Amy Herzog. So last night when I was seaming this up, I was listening to podcasts and sort of looking around on the internet for what my next sweater pattern could be. And I was really seeming. I was not goofing off. I really was. It was just like a quick glance and like me. Trust me, I was working. <laughs> Anyways, um, when I put this on, I was kind of like, oh man, another one that's not perfect. Because I sort of felt like after listening to the the um, Knit to Flatter class that everything would now be perfect. And it's, it's really not turning out that way. And I know it probably will take me. I mean, it took... 10, 15 pairs of socks before I got the perfect sock pattern down for myself and then I went down a needle size without realizing I had done that and then I had to revamp so that's what I'm working on right now changing my pattern but um I was kind of disappointed I like it I like it I would give it like an 85 and it's no fault of the pattern it's more like okay let's get the right sweater for my body type so um I don't know that I'm in a real big hurry to cast on another sweater is what I'm thinking or that I'm going to be so devoted to only um, knit in piece assemble sweaters not that not about the sewing but I'm not seeing a huge benefit of the pieced sweater the way the finished garment looks on me versus the knit in the round I have to say my dark and stormy looks really nice I can't wait to wear it it's almost cold enough and I'm also thinking that I might be happier with my sweaters if I knit more like what I buy it's drawers which is not worsted weight on size seven so um i might be casting on maybe maybe baby steps maybe a dk on fives versus a sport on threes which is probably where i need to go next so uh i did buy some a sweater's worth of sport weight yarn so no sock weight anyways let's not talk about it i'm not showing it so we're not talking about it <laughs> So that's done. And then lastly on my needles, you've seen it before, you will see it again, is the Miss Winkle. So there's talk of sending me back to London in, oh sorry, in December. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to go or if my boss is just going to tough it out without me. I don't know. But I, I did cross my mind that it might be fun to not knit on this and only knit on it on the plane and in London again. And then it would truly be my London project but I don't know I don't know it's there's also a knit along with knitables that I kind of want to work through oh oh I thought of something speaking of knit alongs uh this <laughs> Lisa of Fiber Knife Dye Works is doing a it's October knit along for socks so if you want to double dip and do my knit along and enter your socks over there on um sure she'll have details on her board so go check that out too but I saw it that people could double dip and I was like, oh, gotta remember to tell. So, um, anyways, this is the Miss Winkle by Martina Bem. And I am using Sparkle Gnome by No Makers. And this colorway is Gnome on Fire. It is absolutely gorgeous. I, you just need to look at it all the time. I don't know what this color is. It's actually pretty similar to my sweater color. I love that color. It's maybe my new favorite color. <laughs> so um I, I maybe did a loop I don't even know that I did do a loop to be honest I wanted that sweater done I wanted I want to do our knit along so but this is also on the needles so there you go seven one two three four five six 
six to talk about, but two are finished, so that makes four on the needles. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> so, um, anything else to share with you? I don't think so. I had such an eventful week last time we spoke that I feel like, oh, I'm missing something, but really nothing's happening. It's crazy at work and it's busy at home, but everything's healing on Roland's face and Steve's working and happy there and it's all yay so I hope uh, you're enjoying what's going on in your knitting world I just thought of something okay can't sign off just yet um, so I, like I said I did an order from pattern works and I ordered this it's a decal for your car and I saw the heart and what I thought were needles and I was maybe delirious it was maybe late at night and it actually turns out that it says I heart to crochet I, I don't crochet so if you crochet and you'd like this um, comment on the thread and then shoot me a PM with your address if you're the first person I will drop it in the mail you. so because if I keep it it's just gonna go sit in a closet so maybe you want to put it on your car so there okay now I'm done now I'm done. So, knit along. Um, there was a question in the group if you could still order the yarn, and I believe the answer is yes. Laura, let me know if I'm wrong, but I believe you still can if you're interested. Knit along runs to the end of Halloween, the very end of Halloween, not the day before, the very end of Halloween. It's technical. And that's all I have for you. So, mwah, take care. Mm -hmm.